Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about anatomy of monocot root. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So when we talk about monocot root anatomy, first we will see some layers. So the first layer is the outermost layer that is called epidermis so this is the brown layer you can see this is called epidermis and uh, this epidermis forms some root hairs so uh, each cell of this epidermis layer can form the root hair but obviously not all cells will form root hairs some cells of this epidermis will form root hairs and each root hair represents a single epidermal cell uh, that's why we can say that these are unicellular root hairs and next to the epidermis we can see the cortex this is the wide layer of cells so here we have uh, cortex and these cells are mainly parenchymata cells and they have intercellular spaces between these cells next layer is endodermis so endodermis is the innermost layer of cortex and here you can find a single layer of barrel shaped cells so these brown cells are actually endodermal cells these are barrel shaped cells and this is just one single layer and they do not have any intercellular spaces next to the endodermis you can see this is the pericycle layer so you can find some yellow cells are there in the pericycle so these are also parenchymata cells next to the pericycle we can find vascular bundles so vascular bundles are actually made up of uh, xylem and phloem so in this case you can find more than six vascular bundles this type of arrangement is called poly arc condition so here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so in this picture we can find eight such vascular bundles that is called poly arc condition now there are two types of xylem one is protoxylem another is metaxylem so protoxylem is formed first during the tissue formation and metaxylem is formed later during the tissue formation and you can find here that the protoxylem lies towards periphery and metaxylem lies towards the center this type of arrangement is called exarch condition where you can find protoxylem in the periphery and metaxylem in the center next is conjunctive tissues so conjunctive tissues are some parenchymata cells those are found between xylem and phloem so you can find here that xylem and phloem are located alternatively if this is xylem this is phloem 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 like that so conjunctive tissues are found in between them so these green cells are conjunctive tissues and here you can find the pith so pith is nothing but the central area so it is the center here the pith is very large you can see and this is well developed now all tissues on the inner side of the endodermis that means endodermis is this brown layer so all tissues in the inner side of the endodermis means the pericycle then it is the vascular bundles then it is the conjunctive tissue and here we have the pith so all of them will constitute the stele so this is all about today's lecture i hope you understood the session thank you